Robo Bro would like your assistance with his smithing gig. And I'm gonna be real with you for a second. Is it's not going well so far. He's terrible at his job, and most things that he does, he's it's he's just kind of a rolling tragedy. spirit and enriches the body. Tell me this task. The blacksmith of this forge, Master Tunhammer, is off on a delivery, and he left me in charge of forging a bunch of magical gear while he's gone. Thing is, I kind of forged my forging resume. I don't know how to smith magic items worth a day, but I do know it starts with mining magic ore. You grab that pick uh. and bust your hump mining and defending yourself from wild animals, while I do the much harder task of preparing the forge. You're all set. Now head to the quarry out back. That magic ore isn't gonna mine itself. There's the quarry. Ah! It looks like Master Tunhammer's locked it up. You can pick locks, right? Blossomy <laughs> is not my usual purview, but I dare say I can manage. Nice picking, apprentice.
not cut out for accomplishing things. Base. Where to next? We're yeah. to Charles ring a fire yeah. and he let him walk on lava unharmed. Yeah. But he was notoriously clumsy and fell face first into the river and burned to a crisp. All that remains is that ring. <laughs> Silly humans. When will they learn that one wheel beats two legs any day? That's twice as many things that yeah. can go wrong. No wonder you're always tripping all over the place.
of stone can cling on forever. Ha ha! Well done! Now grab that magic bling! It's not like he needs it anymore. Great! Now, for the next item, I want to get something cool. Literally! Somewhere in the frosty hollow, there's the Cloak of Rudolph. Hurry, apprentice! Your master commands you! Rudolph was a mighty barbarian who hoped to slay the Frost Goblins, thinking his cloak of cold resistance would protect him. Well, Rudolph was frozen solid, but the enchantment kept his cloak in perfect condition. We could just use the crafting rules to make our own gear. Girl, that's so boring as hell! We don't have time for all that crap! Yeah, fighting people and taking their stuff is way faster and more exciting. But it's a crafting quest. Oh, sweet baby friend. I pinky promise that next set show, we can narrate all the boring stuff you love and roll dice all you want, but for now, we're doing things my way with guns and loot and adventure and actually interesting stuff. Fine. <sighs>
hold on to something!
right. But what if we just keep these awesome magic items for ourselves? That doesn't sound very heroic at all. <gasps> what are you talking about? We looted them fair and square. We just risked our lives out there. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, but we agreed to a quest. A quest built on a foundation of lies? <laughs> if you don't finish the quest, you don't get XP. Oh, but I'm so close to my super cool <gasps> class feature. Then you know what you must do, Valentino. Uh, who knew being a hero was fraught with so much moral ambiguity? You've been subcontracting your apprenticeship behind my back, have you? The smithing guild will have my head. Or one of our heads, anyway. Ah, uh, Master Tunhammer! It's not what it looks like! Uh, they were just helping me with little things! Uh, you know, I can't reach the tools on the top shelf! I did all the hard work! Right! Then let's see your hard work, shall we? With pleasure! A great... Yay, you there! Place my works on young mannequin, so Master Tunhammer can marvel at my craft! This is the work of a master. This master! In fact, I made these pieces myself! I'm gonna hammer you and your thieving friend into bloody bedpans! and a chance. Just the de-escalation without violence expert I've been searching for! Come here, sweetie! Just keep it in your pants, okay, darling? Your gun, I mean. Nate's bitch! We here in the village have been having a spot of trouble with our local evil wizard, Baldar the Ghastly. I know you can help. It will only be the work of a moment to blow his brain from his skull. Back in a flash. No! This village has seen enough violence for one lifetime. We want this solved peacefully. Just get him to leave us alone. Consider my weapon holstered. I am certain this will be simple. <laughs>
get this straight. We're trying to not aggro this guy? <laughs> yeah, you heard the bird. Don't worry, I'm sure this will be super duper easy since you're both uh, masters of finesse. Yeah. Smoothest of the smooth. Yeah. Oh, we can finesse. We're finescapable. Aw, you really do think that? And I want you to know, from me to you, it's really adorable. Oh, they're still after me. I don't know if I lost them, but I can't run anymore. I just need a second to catch my breath. If anybody finds this, these might be the last words of Jar. I heard murmurs of revolution around the soup cauldron, and I heard a name, GTFO. Goblins tired of false depression. I risked my life to join them. But that life wasn't worth living anyway. But now I finally have something to fight for. If I survive the night, that is. Evil wizard, I presume? <laughs> yes, I take pride in finding new and exciting ways to terrorize those infernal nerds in the village. <laughs> this one of a kind of scroll, I shall unlock an ancient tomb housing a weapon more horrifying. Though slaying him would be wildly satisfying. I promise bench on violence. I see only one other way forward. Time for a spell! Do it again. No! Huh? Don't hurt me. I'm far more frail than I seem. I I'll leave the village alone, I swear. I'll eat It will unseal an ancient cave. And within you will find a weapon.
the great shift in the magical fabric of the universe. Did you solve our wizard problem? Ah, yes, we hashed things out using our words. As a thank you, he bequeathed me a scroll. It appears to open a cave holding a powerful weapon. Oh, dear. A weapon, you say? Well, you're obviously more than capable of solving our problems without violence. Please get that weapon away from us before any more harm comes to our peaceful village. Man, what were we thinking trying to intimidate an eagle maniac like that? I don't know. Oh. I panicked. Uh. My only other thought was to try and kiss him. That was your only other thought? Sure. That kind of thinking is why we're not allowed on Heat On 6 anymore. to something. you in order to enter that cave. No, and I don't care who sent you. It's too risky. We don't want any more violence. Oh, hiding something, fascist. Let's see what you got in there. If I stay my trigger finger, there may be more than one other way forward here.
Finally, we can put this scroll to use. Reveal your weapon, cave! I shall now read from the scroll. Aperta dilatato for animis! It appears this is definitively not a seduction moment. anywhere between one and four novels simultaneously. I have stood in this spot and guarded this cave for time immemorial, except I personally remember it, but that could be considered more of a curse than a blessing. Imagine if you could remember every embarrassing thing you've ever said and done. But also, you are older than the sun itself. It gets to you after a while. But regardless, you have invaded my ancient hole, and no one is permitted to enter here. I guard a devious, unholy weapon, a relic of times long past, and only those worthy of using it can pass me. And no one is worthy, so no one passes me. Is that clear? I could perhaps be a bit more concise when I explain that part to people. It has been a very, very long time since I have had any visitors. It is possible the fascist goblins who have recently taken to guarding this place are quite good at their jobs. But it is unimportant. What is important is the fact that you have somehow invaded my deep, cavernous crevasse, and you cannot be allowed to leave. For no one shall be permitted to take my secrets out into the world. The world is not ready for a weapon of this caliber. My sole purpose in this world is to protect this weapon from those who would have the hubris, the audacity, to think they can wield it responsibly. I have seen more errors than you can imagine, epochs even, 
And no one has ever managed to convince me that this weapon should be released from my grasp. That means I have killed a lot of people. So many people. Oh, what have I done? No, it's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. And I will not hesitate to add you to that list of dead. It's a very long list. I can read it to you should you require before combat. Though the most ancient of names are quite difficult to pronounce, given that those alphabets no longer functionally exist, I can, however, give it my best shot. <clears throat> Ixbranix the Fourth. Be the Brave. Lorkin the Lionhearted. Holy gob almighty, is this dude really still talking? Hey, excuse me! I worked really hard on this speech, so shut up and listen! <coughs> Flirk snacks bandaquad. Hall. Oh well, that is probably enough names. You get the point. I am a stone cold murderer, and I will do anything to protect this weapon. It is the only reason I exist. If I do not protect it, why do I exist at all? What am I? Would I dissolve into the ether? Would I turn to mist? Would I simply cease to exist? We will never know, because I will be responsible and carry out my purpose until the end of time. You, trespasser, have violated the sacred goblin sanctuary. And if I can go on, you're allowing me to go on? Okay, I'm going to go on. And if I can go on, I would just like to inform you that you have come all this way for naught, and you will not be permitted to fight me for my weapon and... and... <sighs> <sighs> Anyways, I am incredibly tired. This has absolutely wiped me out. And if you're not going to do anything hostile, then I am going back to bed for the next century and a half. Until some other idiot arrives. Good night. Also, thank you for listening. It means a lot to me to feel heard. I suppose this would be the time for me to quickly loot and be on my way. The weapon is in your hand. Now go on, skedaddle out of this dusty pit. You know, I think we did all right, non-violence-wise. Yeah, totally. But I did learn something. And that something is this. Violence really is the answer to most things, most of the time. Hard to argue with that. Fighting. Fascinating.
have you retrieve the weapon? We can live our peaceful lives without fear? It has been handled, and without violence. For the most part. What a relief! For your wonderful Gobletarian efforts, you may keep that wretched weapon. Thank you, adventurer. <laughs> <laughs>